What up everybody, back again here with our area unit and today we're going to be talking about what is area. So let's uncover our objective. Our objective today, today I will be able to find the area of rectangles covered by unit squares by counting the unit squares. So we're really going to dig into what area is, but first we need to start with some math vocabulary. Our math vocabulary today of course is area. Area is the number of unit squares that cover the surface of a figure. So here we have some different figures. Um, some of them are polygons, some of them aren't like the circle. And when we're trying to find the area, we're trying to figure out how many unit squares do we need to cover the surface of this figure. A lot of people use the definition the space inside of a shape or figure, and that's not wrong. We just at Instructive Beats feel like that's a little limited, especially as you get to higher and higher level math. So what we talk about when we're talking about area is how many unit squares do we need to cover the surface of this figure? And some of you are asking a very good question right now. What is a unit square? So let's take a look. This is a unit square um, and you might have them in your classroom or at your home. And it's kind of just like that little tile, right? And it could be red, yellow, blue, green. Not a Lego, not a, not a cube, but just a little flat tile, okay? And that's a unit square. Some people call it a square unit, and that's perfectly acceptable too, but it's a square because the length is one unit and the width is also one unit, which makes all the sides the same, hence the square. So when we're trying to find the area of a shape, we're gonna be covering the shape with the unit square and then counting how many unit squares does it take to cover it completely? So here we have a rectangle, all right? And I wanna know, okay, what is the area of this rectangle? In other words, how many unit squares do I need to completely cover it? When we introduce the definition error, we should, I showed you a circle and a triangle, and you can find the area of all of those. In this unit, we're gonna be focused on rectangles. Everything we're gonna be doing for our next few lessons is going to be trying to cover rectangles with these unit squares. So all you gotta do, right, is take it and you can kind of, and you can drag it one by one, all right? And that, oh, and you wanna not overlap, okay? That's the big thing. When you're trying to find the area, you're gonna be counting the unit squares, but the unit squares cannot overlap, right? They can't be laying like this. They have to be right next to each other, not overlapping. So that's gonna take a long time. Let's just fast forward to when I covered the entire thing already. So here we have the same rectangle covered with our unit squares, right? And we're trying to find the area and so all we're gonna do is we're gonna count our unit squares. And you don't wanna count them randomly, okay? Just count them in a line, okay? Just make it easier. And I like to shade them in as I count them, that way I won't forget. So I have one, two, three, four, five. <sighs> 32, man, that was, that was hard talking that fast. So to cover this rectangle completely, right? The inside of the rectangle, if you will, we needed 32 unit squares. So the area of this rectangle is 32. But there's a certain way that we label area. We don't just say 32, okay? We say the area of this rectangle is 32 square units. It's not just 32 units, it's 32 square units because we are covering the shape with square units. And that's how you find area. You're looking to see how many square units or unit squares does it take to cover the shape completely Again, the big thing is without overlapping. They have to be right next to each other. They can't be on top of each other. So that leads us to our key thought, which is when we talk about area, we're going to label area using square units. So you'll never just say the area was 14. You'll always say it was 14 square units, or you can even say units squared, and that's acceptable too. But you have to recognize that when you're doing area, you're covering it with squares, and that's one way that you do it. Let's take a look at an I do problem. So I wanna know what is the area of this rectangle? In other words, I wanna know how many square units or unit squares did I need to cover the entire rectangle, okay, the entire shape. How many did I need? So I'm gonna go ahead and write my statement. I'm gonna say the area is blank square units. I'm going to already go ahead and write that in because again, I'm recognizing that when I'm doing area, I'm covering it with square units or units squared. Either way is fine. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to count the square units or the unit squares that I needed to cover my rectangle. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm going to say the area of this rectangle is 12 square units. So now we're going to take a look at this we do problem. Okay, and I made it look a little bit different because sometimes instead of just giving you the shape with the squares on top of it already, like our I do problem, they like to use this grid paper, okay, and then draw the rectangle on it. And actually that makes your job really easy, except sometimes it can be confusing. Remember, you're not worried about all the unit squares outside of the rectangle. You're worried about trying to figure out how many unit squares or square units cover the rectangle. So you're not worried about anything out here. You're only worried about how many unit squares you need on the inside to cover it, okay? So I like to highlight it. If you don't have a highlighter, that's totally fine. You don't have to, but just because I'm teaching, and I can, I like to use a highlighter, okay? And it does, it's not perfect. I spent two days of evening school because I got in trouble one time in middle school in art class from four to eight o'clock. I didn't learn anything, all right? Art is great though, okay? Matter of fact, you use a lot of math and art, so go art. I'm just saying I didn't learn anything in those two days, all right? That's besides the point. Don't get evening school. It wasn't that much fun. So I wanna know what is the area of this rectangle? And again, how many square units or unit squared did I need to cover? All right, so I see my shape, I see my rectangle. I need to count the unit squares that are covering the inside of the shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm counting by ones and that makes sense to me, okay? But if I know that there are nine in each row, instead of counting by ones, maybe I just start skip counting, right? So nine, 18, another nine, right? 27, 36, 45, 54, 63. So I, oh, and I forgot to write my statement, but I'll go ahead and do that now. The area is blank square units, or you could put uh, units squared, that's totally fine too. And the answer was 63. Again, I just started skip counting because I recognized that pattern, okay? A lot of times in math, there are patterns we can use to do shortcuts and to save us some time if we know the math skills, like skip counting. But if you needed to count by ones, you can totally do that too. That's totally fine. You're just trying to count how many unit squares cover this rectangle. Let's take a look at a U-try problem. So if you're new with us, that's totally fine. This U-try problem, what you're gonna do, if you are ready to try by yourself, you're gonna push pause in a second, solve it, and then push play to check your work. If you're not ready, that's okay. You can do it with us as another we do problem in your notes. If you don't have your notes, there's actually a link in the description of this video to guided notes that you can print off or fill out on Google Docs. So go ahead and push pause if you're ready and then push play when you're ready to check your work. So hopefully you just paused it. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna write my statement. So my question says, what is the area of this rectangle? So I'm gonna say the area is blank square units. And again, you could say unit squared if you wanted to. You have to recognize that area is when you are covering a shape with square units or unit squared. So I want to know the area. Again, I could count one by one. So I could do one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I see that there are the same amount in each row. So I'm going to take the shortcut. I'm going to use my pattern that I'm recognizing and just start to skip count. If you need to count by ones, totally fine. So I'm going to do six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36 square units. And again, what I want to point out to you is that none of the squares are overlapping. They're not laying on top of each other, they're laying right next to each other with no gaps, but they're not on top of each other. So when you're finding area, I'm saying that the area is 36 square units that don't overlap, okay? That's a key thought about area. They're not overlapping when you are covering the shape. So if you got this one and you are ready, you might be ready for what I like to call the challenge zone. All right, so here's your challenge zone question. I want you to think about your definition of area and then apply it to this question. If you are ready to try it, you can go ahead and pause the video and then push play and we can check your work. If you're not ready, again, you can do it with us as another we do problem. If you're completely confused, you can totally skip this and go to the end of the video. Please just make sure you like and subscribe. Hopefully you just paused it and tried it. So again, I know the question says, what is the area of the figure? So I'm gonna say the area of the figure is blank. 
square units, okay? I'm not confused at all because I know when I got my definition for area, it didn't say how many square units cover a rectangle or how many square units cover a triangle or a circle. It said how many square units cover the surface of a figure. This is a figure. So all I need to do is count how many square units or unit squares are there that cover the inside of this figure. Now, because I have bad eyes and this grid kind of confuses me, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly shade this in with highlighter and that way I know exactly what I'm supposed to be counting. But that's just because I'm old. All right, you might have young eyes and that's totally fine too. Maybe you didn't have to highlight it. And so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count the unit squares that cover the surface of my figure, right? I'm gonna count the ones that are inside. One, two, three, four, five, six. 43 square units is the area of the figure. Now you might not count them by ones, you might skip counting by threes here and then start to skip counting by something else because you started to recognize patterns. That's what we want from you here at Instructed Beats. That's awesome, please do that. Just make sure you get the right answer. All right, so here are the two things we want you to take with you as you leave this lesson. If you forget everything else other than the fact that I had to go to evening school for two days of middle school, we want you to take these two things. Number one, area is the number of unit squares that cover the surface of a figure. Cover is a huge word for area. And number two, we label area using square units because when we write our answer, we wanna recognize that we covered the shape with squares, okay? So we say either square units or unit squared after our number. Thank you so much for checking out today. We appreciate you spending your time with us. If you have not yet, please check out our area and perimeter song. It is awesome, very short too. If you have not done so already, please like and subscribe. We'd love to have you join our Instructed Beats family. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Again, thank you so much, Instructed Beats, out.